Aged white blood cells, which can be serious. Dizziness, unthinking, seizures, trouble swallowing, and impaired judgment or motor skills. Don't give up on the progress you may have made if you are antidepressant. Talk to your doctor about This is what I get for not blogging today. I was trying to take a nap. I woke up to that. Okay, now that I'm awake in the incredibly high frequency smoke alarm has gone off or yeah stopped working no it's gone off. no now that it's quit let me tell you i went in orlando i got called as you guys know it is my reserve month <sighs> moment of silence for my peace of mind i got called last night i have had the past three days off I was supposed to move during those three days, but unfortunately my apartment wasn't ready when they said it would be ready. So I haven't really moved, not totally. And then last night I went back on reserve. I asked to be released today, but they said no. And I said, can I have a PM preference? Which means um, you're still on call, but they'll only call you for afternoon stuff and you don't have to worry about being ready the entire day. And they said no. Nah. So, about 10 o'clock last night, I got the call that I had a trip, and it is a three-day. Today was an easy one. It was just LaGuardia to Orlando. That was it. It was like, okay, what did I do to deserve this? So, that was good. And then we lay over here in Orlando. The next day, we fly somewhere. We fly from Orlando to JFK, and then JFK to Phoenix. And then we lay over in Phoenix. And then the third day, I think we do Phoenix. I don't know, but it's three legs and it's a long day. Why do they always put the hard days at the very end? Like when you're exhausted and you're ready to get home. And you've st started to lose a little bit of your chippiness. Like, they that's when they give you the hard day. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Make the hard days first, guys. Crew scheduling. Make the hard days first. And then the easy days to follow. But anyway, I haven't really been vlogging, and that's very naughty of me. And it's just because not a lot is going on, not a ton is going on. And last night when they called me, I immediately just went to sleep. And then I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning, and I didn't want to wake you guys up at 4 o'clock this morning. Just to vlog, so I know that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, um, I'm awake now, and I'm in Orlando. And I don't know if I'm going to venture out or not. I was taking a nap when the incident happened. Um, that was unpleasant, but, um, yeah, here I am. I had never been to Orlando before. Seems nice. Hi, guys. Stupid early o'clock again. I think it's like 4.37. Had to be downstairs by 4.54. It's very specific. 4.54. Um... We're in Orlando now, heading to JFK, and then JFK to Phoenix. I've never been to Phoenix, you guys, so this will be my first time there. Also, I haven't mentioned, but when I got this reserve assignment, I was actually signed number one position, the lead flight attendant. And I kind of freaked myself out at first. I was like, oh, I don't know, it's so much responsibility, but I studied and I felt like I was ready to take it on. And then once I got to operations and signed in, I met another person on my crew and he asked if he could be number one because he says he really, really prefers it. And he was position number two, which is the galley, which is another position I've never done. And I said, okay, because either way, I'm doing something that I've never done before. So I've been position number two and it's my galley. And I get to do it the way I want to. So it's been kind of fun learning a new position. <sighs> okay. i got to get out of this bed. I don't want to. 
don't make me. I'm dead, guys. I'm so tired. Um, it's like 9.45 now, I think, and we still have to go to Phoenix. That's about a five-hour flight. I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. I'm just dead tired. Um, I will probably be going to the hotel and crashing straight away, just like I did yesterday. It may or may not be going to have a martini or something later because that's what the rest of the crew is doing. But as of right now, I just want sleep. That's all I want. I just want sleep. I miss sleep. local time we have another super early wake up call show time tomorrow not as early as this morning but I just woke up from a nap because you guys know I'm a world champion napper and um, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything you gonna see my view it's not it's not super exciting I got a rooftop here you're having a party down there Maybe I should go crash that. Looks very colorful, very Alice in Wonderland. But there's some mountains there in the distance. Can you see? I have I ever been to Arizona before. I've never no, I've never been to Arizona before, but I have been to um, New Mexico. When I was um not long after I graduated high school, I um, went to stay in New Mexico for three or four months <clears throat> to work on a horse ranch to be a horseback riding instructor. And um, 
It was a summer camp ranch in, um, I think it was Pecos, New Mexico. And I made it about a week before I got super homesick and came back home. So I just, I did not take to New Mexico. It was dusty and dry and there was no humidity and the altitude was crazy and I just didn't take to it. So, so I am just hanging out guys. I am, I know this is like the most boring trip ever. Um, I'm not showing you guys anything or doing anything outside of the hotel and flying, but I think that's what it's going to be like on reserve because it's so stressful that when you're, I don't know, when you're in your layover, you just kind of want to relax and just enjoy the fact that your phone's not going to ring, that um, you know where you need to be and when you need to be there, and I'm just enjoying that fact, so... <clears throat> Hand out of Cheetos though. Happy Easter! Easter morning. So we got a nice little Easter surprise this morning. Um, we are flying from Phoenix to Dallas and Dallas to Chicago and Chicago to New York. And I woke up and saw an email saying we had recovery flying added, which I did not know what that was and I was scared to check. But it turns out that um, there's an equipment change for our Phoenix to Dallas flight and we were not qualified on that particular version of the aircraft. So <clears throat> now we get to deadhead to Dallas, which means flies passengers. So that was kind of nice. Um, nice little surprise to wake up to, to know that we could um, only have to work two flights instead of three today. So, I am about to uh, close my eyes and go back to sleep because it was still a really early wake up this morning. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm up to. Go bunny poo poo on Easter. I just picked up my bid sheep from a bid sheep bah, from operations and I'm at home you guys I am exhausted this three day wasn't that bad but um, I am definitely pretty tuckered out not to mention um, the last leg was really really bumpy so I'm a little bit nauseous right now Ugh. but um I'm going to uh, go catch my uber and then i'm headed back to not to my apartment but to my temporary place just for um one more night so that did you see that i almost tripped and fell down so that tomorrow i can wash and clean and do everything so that when 
its permanent owner comes back, it will be nice and clean for her. So I will see you guys later and um, be good and have a happy Easter.